right now it's an obstacle even to get over here. But to my understanding, like I said, there we we did clean up a little bit of the tree branches here. But my nephew was walking towards here, towards this car, because he was gonna move this car. They were all standing here, and how I can tell, here's some flowers. That's where my nephew was going towards that. Because he was in the back of that car up back into the driveway. And so I know we cleaned up, but I know my girls were right in this area right here. All three of them were in this area. Wow, they got really lucky. Okay, my, my wife called it out. She said she thought they forgot something. So that's actually maybe what, what saved them, that they turned around. My wife goes, hey, you guys got everything. And they said they turned around this way. And that's when you heard something. And this thing just came down, but it was full of branches right here. So it wasn't a super loud, like, no, boom no or anything? Loud. It was just a small, yeah, just, uh, that's all we like a little branch broke. Like a branch. Nobody thought nothing of it until they kind of, I don't know if they looked up or just ran. And this was actually, all this was all branches right here. Like I said, we cleaned it up in order to get out there. But we were, they came out running through here. There was the flowers right there. Cause that's where they were standing about right here broken glass because they had vases that they were walking to their car i mean like i said i just thank god that they were right here in this area even they walked a little bit further they could have bopped they could that could have landed on their head that branch those other branches i mean it could have shoved them anywhere here get stuck in between the van anywhere poke their eyes out anything I had this up and this is what we were loading I still have the table she was holding that one she was like right about right here you can see you lifted it up and you're dodging this thing came all the way about right here so it came down I would say it came down at least six inches to hit me enough on the head that's how high the car must be so this is the car you're loading yeah. when this branch right here came yeah. down yes exactly that branch came down right on wow and from here, you can see these big branches, which is what took that new power line down. Edison was out here quick. They, they really did a good job. I mean, they came out here quick, restored power, like one, two, three. But that, that's the power line that went down, which is the one that goes here. And we just seen sparks. Okay, um, as you can see, this is the only access they have to get into this house. And as you go down, there's, there's an obstacle even to get out of here and to go through here. I'm a thin guy, I barely fit through here. My nephew's a little bit bigger than I am. He squeezes his hair, he squeezes through there, and then he has a four-year-old daughter. And I'm sure it makes, if he feels safer on this end than crawling through all the obstacles. Through the tree that's through down, yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. So, Interesting, yeah. That that's crazy. I mean, so it's just that one little small walkway to no, get into this property. You have, you know, and that's the only little thing just be careful because it's a planter so you have to jump obstacles even just to get up there you know, like i said i mean you can see from here all the damage that it did i mean it's not a little tree it wiped out four cars if, and they're not parked like normal cars so i have a question for you ruben what happens if there's a medical emergency in this home? I mean, your driveway is completely blocked. There's only that small opening way over there in the corner. How are medical personnel supposed to even get their stretchers or anything through to get to you guys? They're, they're not, I get, uh, unless they feel like airlifting here. But they can't get through here because they have all these big old branches through here. Well, first they have debris on the ground, and then they have all this excess branch. I'm sure they're not going to get a gurney or whatever medical supplies they need to get over here through this side there's they can answer that question for me i'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory for them how do we get back so i mean your house didn't get damaged by the tree but i mean it's you're, you're still you're still staying in the house at your own risk exactly. if something were to happen if, yeah. if there was a fire or any kind of medical emergency crews aren't going to be able to access this at all at all now with the cars in the way, I can nothing. There's no access to it. No access. came in here 
that too. I have a bunch of videos of the city working. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your first and last name with the spelling, please? My name is Trinidad Hernandez, T-R-I-N-I-D-A-D-H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Mr. Hernandez, where are we currently? We are on, uh, this is my the front of my driveway on 11058 Nevada Street. Over uh, here, it's Orange Avenue, and this way we have Redlands Boulevard on the other side. Now, are we actually in the city of Redlands, or are we in the county? This is the city of Redlands. Sir, can you tell me what happened here on Saturday night? Well, we had an event here, a family event, and uh, after it was leaving, the, uh, the this tree came down, just cracked and just came down on several vehicles. We hit four vehicles that are parked here in my driveway, and uh, it caused a lot of damage. So when the tree came down, it, it obviously it struck a power line yes it did which knocked out power in the area yes it crushed four of the vehicles that were here yeah in your driveway yes and the tree also parts of the tree landed on the street on the street which is nevada street correct yes yes now on sunday morning the city came out and they they trimmed the tree so it's no longer in the street yes. but they did not assist you in with the driveway. The, the yeah. driveway or any of the damage. Yes, yes. And I, yeah, and yeah, someone from the city came on Saturday night and they said they were going to be back here on Sunday and, and they did. They came back, but they only cleaned the street. They closed the two sides to work here uh, for, to fix electrical. But after that, you know, they said today they were going to see whether it's their, jur their jurisdiction or is it uh, the county. And this morning I talked to the city and they, they said it's the county. And I called the county, and the county said they want to get someone to make an assessment whether whether it's they're responsible or not. So, but so far I I don't have anything, you know, to support that the uh, county will do anything. Now, the tree it looks like it's sitting in like a a wash or or a, a storm drainage runoff. Yes. Is that actually part of your property, or no. is it is it outside of your property? It's outside my property line. All right, and you've, you've made several attempts to get a hold of the city and the county and just no luck, huh? Yes, I'm still waiting. The city said someone will be coming to, well, I'm sorry, the county. The city already determined that it's not their tree, that it belongs to the county. But the county said, they, uh, I need to call back tomorrow and see whether they came today or they will be coming tomorrow to make an assessment. So, so far, I don't know yet. So it sounds like... The county's trying to blame the city. The city's trying to blame the county. Yes. Because when I was talking to you earlier, you said the, uh, the, the city did come out and they trimmed the tree from the road, yes. which is city property. Mm -hmm. And the county was telling you that if it was county property, the city would have called them and had them trim the road. Yes. But instead, the city came out and trimmed it. Yes. So the county's trying to say that it's the city's tree and the city's trying to say it's the county's tree. Yeah. But nobody's really, nobody's given you really any any help no, since since the tree came Nobody down on Saturday come night. to offer anything. You know, uh, I know with the code enforcement, we have a problem with the property. Code enforcement, they are there always to get a ticket, to find you. Nobody has come to find me here for, for this big tree over here on the driveway. So not yet. I haven't got a find yet. So hopefully, you know, nobody comes and finds me for this. Yeah. 
Was there a, <clears throat> was there anybody injured when this tree came down? No, just minor. Uh, oh yeah, he Ruben he got he got hit with his car. Ruben, I don't know how much. But yeah, there's three. Yeah, there's one or two girls that also got hit, but no, no major injuries. No major injuries. Did yeah. anybody have to go to the hospital? No, no, nobody had to go to the hospital. So there were just minor injuries. Okay. And you know, of course, they were pretty scared. Now tell us about how are you guys able to access your home? I mean, well, it looks like this thing has completely blocked you from your home. We well, do we have a little access on the side, a tiny little space like this where we squeeze through, and but you know, uh, we clear this area here also to go in and out, but it's. It, it's dangerous to go here, so we try to go through that side, but it, well, we can't use any vehicles. You know, we gotta have to park outside, and it's not. It's really so not ba safe. basically, in order to access your home, you yourself had to come out and sort of trim the tree up a little bit. Yes. Just so you guys have enough walkway to even access your home. Yes, and I also pointed out to the city and the county, there's still a big portion of that tree over there. You can see it overhangs over here. If that were to fall, it's gonna hit the over this section of the bridge. And if some, this is there's a school over here. So if people sometimes the people park over here to pick up their kids and that, if they were to park here and this tree were to fall there, it would be really a lot, lot worse. So someone, I wish you know they could see the damage that the the danger that this tree still presents to someone who could be parking or driving over here and this tree collapsing. Let me ask you a question. Is there anything that you want to say to the city officials or the county officials on your behalf? Well, I like to, uh, you know, I think the cities are always supposed to be there to help us, the homeowners, and to help us, uh, you know, to help the community. And I like someone to, you know, to come out and offer some help, at least some assistance, or, you know, at least offer us any, any kind of assistance, you know, and just. I'm not asking for money or anything, just at least just tell us something what to do, you know, what to do. Because my homeowner's insurance won't cover this either. The uh, auto insurance won't cover the vehicle either because I think we don't have the right, the proper insurance. We think this was not a road accident, so it's not covered. So, you know, basically we have no recourse. So... <clears throat> With, with with all this damage, basically, I mean, you're just getting you're just getting the runaround from everybody, from your from your homeowners insurance, from your auto insurance, from the city to the county, and it just seems like nobody wants to help somebody who's a tax paying citizen in their city, huh? Yes, the only well, this is a flood area, flood zone, so I'm paying a lot of money for flood insurance, and this is supposed to be flood control. I haven't called my flood insurance, but I. I, I doubt that they would do anything because the house was not flooded, you know, so I don't know, but I haven't talked to them yet. So I, I don't know if, if anyone has any ideas who to call or which government agency I should contact, you know, I would be happy to hear uh, any advice. And one last question, how long was the power out to your, to your residence or even to the neighborhood when the tree came down? Uh, it was from 10, from 10 p.m. till got restored like around three or four. Yeah, I don't know, four the next on so Sunday. They, so they were able to restore the power rather quickly. Yes. It's just this tree issue, they don't... Nobody cares. Nobody seems to really... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Mr. Hernandez, we do wish you the best, and I appreciate you taking time to talk to me this afternoon. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your first and last name with the spelling, please? Yeah, my name is Ruben Sanchez. It's spelled R-U-B-E-N. Last name is S-A-N-C-H-E-Z. Ruben, on Saturday night when this tree came down, where were you? I was actually in the back, by loading up some tables in my car. When all you heard, it's like you take a tree branch, any kind of branch, and you just click. That little sound, that's all I heard and I remember. Next thing you know, I remember my car hitting me in back, on top of the head. My wife was holding another table probably about two feet away from me. And I felt that. I felt something jolt and I look up and I just see this tree coming down. And my nephew and my two girls were riding them in the and coming walking this way because their car was parked outside uh, next to the brick wall to wash. And um, all I remember is just screaming, myself screaming out to them because I didn't know if they were safe or not. And maybe 
30 seconds later, you see the power line, the flash, and that's when it really hit me. That we were in trouble, and I didn't know where, the, where my two girls were, where my nephew were. He was supposed to get the car that's under here. You'll see it shortly. He was getting, he was gonna get in that car to drive off, to park it back inside the driveway. Now, what part, did the tree hit you, or did the tree hit the table that you were carrying? Ah, uh, the tree hit my car that I was loading the tables into. Okay. To the front end of it. And the back, I had the door open in the back, and it's a little uh, small, like a hatchback car. And I was putting it in, and next thing you know, I just felt something smack me in the back of the head. So when the, the tree crashed down on your car, it made it which bounce. closed that hatchback, exactly. which slammed on the back of your on head. On the back of my head. Did you have to go seek any kind of medical treatment? Uh, no, right then, I didn't feel anything. Your adrenaline's kicked up. Just like yesterday morning and the day, you feel like a little spike on my neck. But I still haven't gone in, which I know I should go get it checked out. I did, I have my two girls getting checked out. And I have one of them right now at the urgent care. She went to work, but she I wanted her to get checked out. They told me to go to the urgent care, but I need to go get an MRI because it was, it was a bop on the head. So they would like me to go do that, so. All right. And now, sorry, these mosquitoes. Um, how old are your, your nieces and nephew? My two girls are 20 and 21, and my nephew's 20. 23. So they were all they were all pretty much yes right here yeah. when the, when the tree came crashing down. Yes. That is amazing that nobody was nobody was I, I, severely I injured. Thank God that nobody was hurt. I mean, if you would have been here, you would have seen exactly where they were standing. I mean, these, these are huge branches. I could stand next to it probably, and you'll see how big these things are. Perfect. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you take me through where your uh, where your two girls were standing and, and your nephew? Sure. I'll take, I'll take you through the obstacle that they have to go through right now because there's no access to the 